uh, in the abundance of water, the food is thirsty. Uh, Belize, we're, we're so blessed um, as a nation with a lot of natural resources. In 2015, I had a dream and uh, and in that dream I I was I was told so whether it's uh, uh, whether it's um, a fluke or not I don't know but in the dream I was told that there's a, a famine coming and I need to prepare probably I, I read Joseph's story and it stuck in my subconscious but who knows um, I didn't listen. I continue on with life as life goes, and uh, and then COVID came, and the whole world shut down. Right now, um, I'm in the middle of the forest in Rockstone Pond Village, a village where my mother used to live, and where she's buried. In fact, it's a few meters from here, and. Uh, but in 2015, I came back here and I established an apiary with bees. And because of traveling and work, I didn't come and check the bees out. Now these are Africanized bees. And I'm a little bit jumpy because they're buzzing around my head and I don't have my suit on. And if they're not happy with me, that's death. And uh, I'm so happy to come back here and find out that there are some of them here still. Uh, right over here. So, my bees have been waiting for me. It's 2020. So it's been about, it's been about actually three years since I've been back here. And the road is still in decent condition and the bees are buzzing and doing what bees do. So I will come by tomorrow and I will harvest uh, some honey and then see if I could set up the air apiary and clear it up better and uh, keep at it. So I hope to change the narrative. Um, I believe that there's a lot of a lot of hope and a lot of promise in agriculture. Even if we can't export what we produce, there won't be a shortage of food. Uh, my intention is to be able to, to grow the food that we need for the Mercy Ministry, to sustain my family, and to inspire others to go back to the land and do their part. So, uh, yeah, my heart is racing. The bees are are still doing what they've been doing for the last several years. There must be quite a bit of honey in those apiaries uh, or in, in those hives. And tomorrow we will find out. I ask that you keep us in prayers. And let me get out of here because they're buzzing around my head and I don't have my suit. God bless and I'll keep you posted. Oi.